Stan, here we are. Sonntag, nackt, Mittag in der Manohöhle. Sunday afternoon in the man cave. And this is actually take about 10. My wife has been interfering, sticking her nose in, getting me to do things. I was in the garden all day. She's out there now, moving around. I was in the garden all day yesterday, six hours. And now she's getting palm trees delivered. Just, uh, she's just looking in there, pulling faces, like, please leave me alone. Thank you very much. I'm trying to do this video. She, right, when she's finished slamming doors. Okay, right. Bayonet time. Andrew Johnston of the Combined Forces Living History Group very nicely gave me this bayonet last week so we will do a little review on what it is and what it isn't so this is the swiss m oh before i go any further see i'm, I'm completely out of sorts here a shout out for pointy not sharp so the channel is called pointy not sharp now the reason i'm shouting him out is i was doing a little bit of research online about this bayonet and his video came up on youtube and he's, he's, a, he's a guy in australia and he collects it seems he just collects just bayonets. I've been working through his videos and making a few comments. And uh, it's quite well well presented. Easy to understand. And he knows his stuff. So that is pointy, not sharp. So I did uh, take a few pointers off his video for this video I'm going to do. So Swiss M 1957 bayonet, model 1957. It's a knife bayonet for use with a 7.5mm Sturmgewehr 57 made by SIG. The Sturmgewehr 57 is a selective fire rifle rather than an assault rifle. It is considered the Rolls-Royce of selective fire rifles and a long service life from 1958 to 1983. There's a mark on there, a W and an F in a circle, which is the mark of assembly at Waffenfabrik of Bern. So we will do a quick look at it. Now, go like that. It should focus. Go like that if you focus on it. <sighs> Come on, you pig. There you go. That's Waffenfab Waffenfabrik of Bern. Right, okay. So it is made up of separate parts. Now, there were two companies that made the bl uh, blade. A V, which means Vic Victoronix. Victoronix. W means Wenger. So this one is a W. Now, I think that's a capital W. So that means it's not that it went down to a lowercase w towards the later end of its life when these were getting made. So I think this is a fairly, it, it won't be an old, older version. Apparently the older version had the script right across the top. So it's not the newer, newest. It's got quite a high serial number, 82,761. And there is a w there. Or there, it's got a little mark. And that means that the handle was probably made by Wenger. Apparently the Swiss government um, separated the contracts out to make the competition a bit more equal. Something on their minds. And if you'll see there, there's a stylized P. There is some other markings on the back there. I'm not taking it out of the scabbard for now. Let's have a look. So the P <coughs> means Palliad AG of St. Croix. St. Croix. Sacro. And the this is a, a, a bayonet without a fuller. Now a fuller is that groove in there. Now I always thought or led to believe that it was a blood groove, it was stopped suction when a bayonet had been pushed into an enemy soldier. Uh, when you think about it, probably flesh would probably just bind onto that anyway, so it, and it's it apparently it's for strength imagine an eye beam in a building you know a uh, cross section it's either swaged in or pressed in so it's for strength and uh, weight saving apparently so there you go <clears throat> now sig made an export version of the stg for uh, 57 and 7.62 nato now the scabbard and the bayonet are slightly different this is in uh, an stg 57 not for export, this is the original bayonet model. Uh, the, so the difference is, the, I think the scabbard's more round, there's a couple of other, other bits around there. Now the frog itself, you can tell I'm not, not correct here, can you? That's what, actors get blocked, don't they? Is it right that they get blocked? I've done this video so many times. So that the frog, 
for this is the SIG export version of it. And the reason I've got that on there is it fits and it's cheap. Uh, six or seven pound, I think it was. The leather ones, just looking on eBay, if you can get them in this country, 40, 50 pound, uh, you'd, you'd, you'd pick up the bin and scabbard for that. So I'm quite happy with that as it is for now. So, oh, I think I've finished it. Five minutes, that's not too bad. I want to try and do another video now. Um, I want to see if my wife will interfere, stick her nose in again. Anyway, this is Stan. See ya.